I'm out shopping, and what in the hell is this? It's Sunday morning, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm getting ready to leave for work. And, oh shoot, I forgot to set some out for dinner. Hold on. Well, let's see here. Where is the steaks? right here. Oh goodness. They're they're tight. Uh, uh, yeah we're gonna have steaks for dinner tonight. It's steak dinner for dinner tonight because of Valentine's Day. Excuse me youngest one. The youngest one is up today. I don't know why he's waking up early. He never wakes up this early. Last few days he's been getting up like at 7, 7 30. So anyway I'm gonna set the steaks there. It'll be nice and thought out for dinner. I gotta go. Dad, what? Can you my car? Yes, that's fine. Give me a kiss. Love you later. Have a good day. So, we're just gonna have like steak, baked potato, salad. Nice little dinner with the four of us. Oh, it smells so good in my car right now. Oh my gosh. I have my strawberry lemon ice car jar. It smells really good. But yeah, like I was saying, our youngest one has been waking up like 7, 7.30 the last three days or so, and I'm not sure why, because usually he sleeps till he can sleep really late, actually. I don't know why he's waking up so early the last few days. Must be a little spurt he's going through or something. And I didn't get to bed till late again last night. And I got up today late. Because I didn't want to get up. I need to shave. I didn't shave. I need to start going to bed earlier. So we had the question the other day on if you are a night person or a morning person, and we have mixed results. A lot of people are night owls, and some people said they were morning people. I'm definitely not a morning person. I'm okay right now, even though I didn't get much sleep this morning, I feel okay right now. Got up and I took a shower. I have to take a shower in the morning because if I take a shower at night before I go to bed and I don't take a shower in the morning, I'm super tired. It helps me when I take a shower in the morning to wake up. It just gives me like a second, uh, you know, what do you want to call that? It gives me, rejuvenates me when I take a shower in the morning, even if I haven't had much sleep. So I always try to take a shower in the morning. But comment down below on how much sleep do you all get? That's another question I have. I posted this on Facebook, I think it was last year sometime on a poll on how much people, how much sleep do you all get a night? I, on average, get about four to four and a half hours of sleep. That's about my average hours of sleep. That's pretty bad, I know. It's not good, but that's about what I get. I go to bed, on average, probably about 1.30. That's about my average going to bed. I will start going to bed and then I have videos to edit and it's like 1.30 before I get done editing the videos and it's late. But then I get up at about, I set my alarm for about 5.30 and I get up out of bed a little after 6. I hit snooze a few times, I get out of bed from 6 just right around there. So yeah, just curious to see how much sleep you get. I actually can get by with very little sleep. I don't need a whole lot of sleep. I do get tired though. I mean, I do all right until the end of the day. Like last night, I was fine all day, but then we sat down to watch TV last night and I started falling asleep. If I sit down and relax or do anything at the end of the night, 
like watch a movie or whatever, I can't stay awake. But other, through the day I'm fine, it just I get really tired in the evening because my battery starts going down. And then some people need a lot, a lot of sleep. Brad has to have a lot of sleep, otherwise he is a bear all day long. So I'm headed to work and it's supposed to be nice today. It was really super cold yesterday, but today it's gonna be, I think, 50 degrees. And then it's gonna be 50s all week and then get into the 60s and 70s by Thursday. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday morning. Happy Valentine's. I'm not in the greatest mood. My back is killing me. And I was laying there in bed and listening to, of course, the boys argue. Just what you want to hear in the mornings. I don't want to go to work because my back's hurting me so bad, but you gotta do what you gotta do. It only bugs me when I do tons and tons of kids, and that's what I did yesterday, is tons and tons of kids. Because I'm having to bend over because they're so little. And you can't pump the chair up high enough for the little, little guys. So it kills my back, but I'll be alright. Gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta work. All right, guys. So just want to show you. Um, I was upstairs eating lunch real quick, and someone comes in and says, "Is Bradley blah blah there?" And so I come downstairs, and this is what I got for Valentine's. Twelve years later, every year. Every year for 12 years, I've gotten flyers on Valentine's at work. And when I was in school, he sent them to me in school. I say I got a keeper. Thank you, baby. I love you. Hey, guys. So, as you can see, I shaved and I cut my hair off. Now I'm on my way home to, well I have to stop by the grocery store and pick up stuff for dinner. I forgot the grocery list, but I'm pretty sure I remember everything on it. We will find out when we get there and if I get in trouble for forgetting anything. We're at the store. Ugh. Go in and get what we need to get. So I'm out shopping, and what in the hell is this? Please. I seen that, and I was like, uh, Apple that's crazy. Apple yeah. I was just like, oh my, all kinds. Okay, so I'm home from work and we're fixing our little Valentine's dinner. We have Casey Strip Steaks. Look how good they want? look. They look delicious. Oh, I don't, I don't want them with a lot of fat. Preferably, thank you. And then we have our wine. This wine, I don't know how, I never heard of this. It's Chevalier de Bayard. I think. I don't know where Molly got that. I'm gonna ask her. Uh, Brad's one of Brad's employees got that for him for uh, Christmas. It's really good. It's like dry, but yeah, a little sweet. Too. I'm actually gonna drink some wine tonight. <clears throat> it's good because I don't like sweet wine, but it's dry, but it has a little bit of sweetness in there, so it's, it's not bad. So it's really good, actually. And then we're having a salad. We got a salad and then a baked potatoes to go with the salad. So my friend from work gave us this little, uh, it's a little balloon that you uh, pound your fist down on it and it inflates automatically after you pop your fist down on the balloon and the package. She gave it for the kids and there's four of them so I'm going to show you, Brad's going to do one to see what it looks like and I'll show you what, what it looks like when Brad does it. Uh, I don't think it matters which side. Just do this side with all the... Yeah, probably the side with the decorations on it, I guess. This side? 
Go, hit it. Skater's Peter. Okay, now the youngest one is gonna do his. Got hit really, really hard. Go. Can, I, can I do it now? Mm -hmm. Wait, let go. Is there a surprise in there? Then it's supposed to pop open, isn't it? No, you have to do it again. It's gonna scare me. The pops open in a minute here. Why is this not working? There you go. There you go. Wait a minute. It's going. Let it go. It's going. There it went. He wasn't hitting it hard enough. Okay, now it's Brett's turn, so get at it. Yeah, I did the same thing. Now the oldest is doing his. Okay guys, so um, before we have the youngest go to bed, always telling him he needs to go clean his room up and stuff. And so, um, he has to pick up his toys and stuff before bed. Come over here. I want to show you how well he always does. This is how good it always looks when he's done. We put that in here just because it gets a little chilly in the back of the house, so we just barely turn it on. He always makes his bed. Puts his toys up. And puts his toys over here. And then... Of course, he can't reach up there, so he just throws his stuff up there. But, I mean, hey, he tries. Good job. All right, guys. Headed to bed. So we're going to end the vlog. I don't know where Brad is. I went looking all over the house for him. I don't know where he is. I looked all over. I don't know if he's talking to the neighbor next door or what he's doing, but I couldn't find him. So I'm ready to go to bed. So I'm ending the vlog now. I'm tired, and it's 1030. That is good for me to get to bed. I was determined to get to bed early because I have not been getting much sleep lately and it's been catching up with me. I was so tired today. So, thanks for watching. Had a good Valentine's Day. Brad got his flowers for me. And in case you didn't see the vlog, a few, was it last week? Yeah. He got me candles for Valentine's Day just so you don't think that he didn't get me anything. But I got them last week because Bath and Bite Works had a candle sale, so I went and picked them out. And he went with me and let me pick them out, so I got them a week early. So that was my Valentine's Day present. I got my nine candles. So, all right, hope you all had a good Valentine's Day, and we will see you all in our next vlog. Good night. Amy, she's silly. We've been busy all day. Swamped. Look. I have. I have a blank spot and then I had a cancellation but we've been pretty busy all day